Hey everybody, I'm, in, I'm at Ozark and I'm at the OC and this is a library drop-off. So if you're on this side of town, now the intersection is right over there for Johnson and McDonald's and Burger King's right over there, but this is the OC. So if you are got some library books and you're coming this way, all you got to do is drop them off right here. I thought I'd... I thought while I was going by there, I'd give you that little update. All right, let me tell you about today. I may, huh, <laughs> I may uh, bought off, bit off more than I could chew with this coldness. I got on uh, my polar jacket. You know, it's from uh, Springfield, Springfield Brewery Company. Real proud of uh, their jerseys. And uh, their store is going to open up here in the spring sometime. And I'm going to post uh, links to it. But I'm going to put my order in first <laughs> before I go posting links. But if, it, if there's an organization that you want to sponsor, you couldn't sponsor a better group of people than Springfield Brewery Company is Cycling. I'm telling you, the gear is good. It's hand campy. If you're in the cycling, you know what I'm talking about. George Hand Campy. He was with uh, Les Armstrong when they were sticking needles in their butts. <laughs> but George is a good guy. You know, I love him. <laughs> He's a good guy. Uh, Lance is great. I want to meet Lance one day. But uh, make a long story short, I got to stay where the wind The wind is blowing out of the north, north, how do you say it, northwest. And it is cold. So I'm going to go for a little walk. I was planning on riding the bike today, but no, I'm going to scout out a new way to go to uh, NN. Uh, so I think I, I can, well, I'll let you know. I don't want to break off and tell you something I might not change or change is a coming. But I just want to touch base with you today and let you know that uh, I really appreciate all the people that leave comments been getting some real spiffy comments about things I try to answer everything everybody back it ain't like I'm getting a thousand a day like I once was I remember when I was getting some days I'd get 35 30, let me not exaggerate I'd get 25,000 views and out of that 25,000 views I would get a thousand comments a day I couldn't keep up with it no way but uh, the way they got me demonetized and throttled back and censored and otherwise not helping promote my channel, uh, it's easy to keep up with you guys. I can tell who the true fans are, the true people that want to understand what I'm talking about. Can't give you everything in one, one interview uh, and one set down, you know, in your face camera buddy style deal it just ain't gonna happen but I give you some nuggets of truth as I feel it to do it in the spirit other than that I'm just talking about the basic things of life dress warm put on some layers and go walking I want to show you something right here this is the historical see the cross and right cross here this is the historical train track that had been here since the 18 probably I don't know I'm gonna have to do some better research to give you a real date but 1890s I believe it been here since the, longer than that I believe it been here for a while but I'm gonna do some research and try to get to the bottom of it now David Lush he's a reporter that worked at W ABG Greenville, Mississippi. He had a segment on his news channel called What's That You Say? So I'm going to kind of borrow his phrase if you <laughs> give him credit for coming up with it. But if there's something you want me to report on in Ozark, talk about, or otherwise get video and do it on the up and up. You know, no trespassing, <laughs> no messing with people's privacies if anybody's got something I've said or something I videoed and they want it to come down just give me a give me a message and uh, like I say I, I keep it up with my message is pretty good I can get right on it now I can understand
understand six months ago when I my channel was blowing up and I was getting messages and nobody thought I was answering them because I couldn't answer them. All right, I've spun around a corner here. I guess you might can tell which way I'm going. I'm going to get on across this intersection up here and see what it feels like on the other side of the bypass. All right, talk to you later.